Success is the ability to go one failure to another with no loss of enthusiasm. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. Today signifies the culmination of hard work as we witness how these students prove their worth to become a member of this graduating batch. Manor is the grade 6 class of 2020-2021 of San Pedro Elementary School. We know that it's been a difficult year for all of us. Pandemic has changed everything in our day-to-day -day lives, including graduation activities. Truly today is the day that most parents and students have waited for so long in their life. I want to greet the people who graced this affair to become possible. To the school's division of Southern Leyte, led by our very supportive school's division superintendent, Dr. Janice S. Morales, to our great school's district supervisor, Mr. Raul T. Duarte, our dedicated school head, Mrs. Elvera M. Ranga, colleagues, members of the graduating batch, parents, guardians, friends, ladies and gentlemen, a pleasant, welcoming, and happy viewing to all. To begin the ceremony, may we all pay tribute to our national flag as we listen to our Philippine national anthem, followed by a prayer, the singing of regional hymn, and Southern Lady hymn, respectively. For everyone's guide and reference, here's the flow of today's event. We will view and hear messages of greetings from our Secretary of Education of the Philippines, Dr. Leonor Briones, followed by our Regional Director, Dr. Maria Gemma Mercado Ledesma, and lastly, our school's Division Superintendent, Dr. Janice S. Morales. Then, the conferment of academic awards, Presentation of graduating students, confirmation of graduation, distribution of diploma, a message from the representative of the awardees, and finally, the closing remarks.
home it is due. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you all to another milestone of education. Welcome to Batch 2020-2021 Virtual Graduation Ceremony of San Pedro Elementary School. Graduating students, may God bless us all and congratulations! I would like to express my warmest greetings and congratulations to the graduating learners, faculty, school officials and staff for their commencement exercise for school year 2020-2021. On behalf of the Department of Education, I am honored to be part of the accomplishments and milestones of this year's graduating batch. Despite being tested in an extraordinary time, our learners persevered and made valuable gains for their future. While this historic season gave unprecedented challenges posed by the COVID-19 pandemic, I am confident that this new breed of Filipino nation builders, one that has experienced unusual obstacles, will be vital in moving the country for the years to come. Our heroes in the history of our country have faced many challenges without hesitation and fear to seek truth and freedom through education, and like those today who continue to go great lengths to assiduously provide support for our education, they stand firm in Jose Rizal's words. Without education and liberty, which are the soil and the son of man, no reform is possible, no measure can give the result desired. Let this ceremony be a reminder that we can overcome anything through our concerted efforts. And with DepEd supporting you in every way possible, we will be able to respond to every challenge, especially in the basic education sector. For our parents and teachers, we are greatly indebted to the dedication that you have given to your children during this crisis. Truly, your efforts have come to fruition as we celebrate this momentous day. Let us continue to seek growth and opportunities for a safer, healthier, and kinder place to nurture our future leaders and nation builders. District Supervisor, Sir Raul P. Duarte, Yunman Satoy School Head, Ma'am Elvira A. Branca, Magtutudlo, Ginikanan, Mga Graduates, Mayo Muntag, Kanato, Kanan. Hining pagsahulog sa atong school year 2020-2021, Virtual Graduation Ceremonies. Sa lima ka, strengthening the quality of education amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Sa akin ay kadako hagit sa nag-usak na ito, mga ginikanan, istudyante, yun mga usap sa ito, mga magtutulo. Doon ni ining pandemya, apan, padayon kita sa pagkapot sa ito mga pangandoy sa kinabuhin. Naagi sa edukasyon, doon kay kini, importante kayo sa matag tao. Kay kong inukado kita, bisan asa kita nanon sa kapalaran. Bili kita mahadlog, doon kay doon na kita ay kalidad sa atong pagkatao. Pinaagi sa nakapot na ito na edukasyon. Sa mga kausapa, we salute all of us. Together we heal as one, 
congratulations once again. God bless us all. By the authority delegated to me by the Honorable Secretary of Education, Yonor M. Briones, our DepEd Regional Office 8 Regional Director, Maria Gemma M. Ledesma, and our Schools Division Superintendent, Janice S. Morales, I hereby declare Abrugar Wildan Mac Andrew R. with honors. Jula Kyle Joseph C. With honors. Marty Joel V. With honors. Lumaya Joanna May D. With honors. Logronio Shana Jane D. With honors. Of San Pedro Elementary School, District 1 of Sugut, this school year 2020-2021. Congratulations! Dr. Genesis Morales, CISO 5, Schools Division Superintendent, Represented by Alvera N. Ranga, Head Teacher 3, I have the honor to present to you candidates for graduation for school year 2020-2021 of San Pedro Elementary School of Home 18 are males and 16 females. A total of 34 graduating students. I hereby certify that they have satisfactorily completed all the requirements of the Quito 12 basic education curriculum prescribed by the Department of Education. May I therefore request you to confirm their graduation. Good morning everyone, by the authority vested in me by the Department of Education through the school's division superintendent, Dr. Janice S. Morales, CISO 5, and upon recommendation of our district supervisor, Mr. Raul T. Duarte, that you have satisfactorily completed the K-12 basic education curriculum as prescribed by the Department of Education. I hereby confirm you graduates of San Pedro Elementary School, school year 2020-2021, this 14th day of July 2020 at San Pedro, Subud, Southern Leyte, Philippines. Congratulations! Graduating students, school year 2020-2021. Abrogar Weljan Mac Andrew R. With honors, San Pedro Subud Southern Leyte. Alo Johnry D. 
San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Alquileta y Kian Ray C. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Butoy Dave A. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Jula Kyle Joseph C. With honors. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Jula Leonard P. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Estorpe John Leonard E. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Ivali Jr. Michael Nino L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Liga Cyrus M. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Yanis Kevin N. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Mabugat Emmanuel L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Manto Janelle T. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Marty Joel V. With honors. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Opelenya Mark Anthony R. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Paul the Second. Federico S. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Ruba Aresti. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Sias Christian Jer V. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Soles Reven C. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Acuña Alisa E. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Alo Chesa L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Koy Lian Charin C. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Baldomar Gian Polin. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Mihai Antonet C. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Dairo Daniela Jane L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Labitao Giselle Ann L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Lamosti Alisa Lane L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Linga Rose Jane L. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Logroño, Shena Jane D. With honors, San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Lumaya Janame D. With honors, San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Olivar Mendy M. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Amitan Jenna A. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Pilaes Rachel Ann. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Sarte Ira C. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Tumon Trisha Lynn. San Pedro Sugod Southern Leyte. Our Schools Division Superintendent, Janice S. Morales, to our District Supervisor, Ralph T. Duarte, to our School Head, Elvira M. Ranga, dear teachers, beloved parents, stakeholders, FB friends, and online viewers, 
fellow graduates, good morning to all of you. Today, I received with honors and very proud to speak in front of you. This year streamed the very momentous part in our life because we are the product of lockdown and quarantine. But luckily, we have a virtual graduation ceremony. This marks the summit of our journey. San Pedro Elementary School, graduating class 2020-2021. After six years in this beloved school, here we are, reap what we saw, the graduation day, and steam is strengthening the quality of education amid COVID-19 pandemic. It's a big fulfillment for all of us because we survived the hardship and threat to education. We experienced the difficulty in completing our unending modules and activity sheets. Luckily, we surpassed the challenges of our study during these trying times. We the graduate of class 2020-2021 extend our warmest thanks to our almighty God that he saved us from the trick of virus disease to bless us in our way to succeed we're very grateful to our dear teachers and mentors who, who helped us to succeed in one step in our journey Thank you for guiding us and pouring your wisdom and knowledge to shape our young minds to become a better child and becoming a good citizen of our country. You inspired us to continue to study even this COVID-19 pandemic. Gave us hope and enlightened our mind to become mentally upright and emotionally strong in this situation. The patients love and care showed us as our second parent to our parents for your endless support and patience to all of us to achieve success your love and care for all these years as you set the foundation of our future there are not enough words to express how grateful we are Now, mark the history that commemorate hard work of we endure, not just as graduates, but also the teachers and parents. It is a very special day that won't be forgotten, even if we leave San Pedro Elementary School. Today, we acknowledge and give recognition to the people we've met, the lessons we've learned, the tears, the laughter, and the memories we've shared in our years as great school students. For everything we take with us, there is something that we leave behind. The school year was filled with memories. It gave us good and also bad experiences. It taught us many things. Most of us are bursting with joy that we're finally done with it that it's all over now but it isn't with every door shut opens another now another opportunity is coming today we show our teachers our parents and ourselves that we're progressing out of our young stage we show the world that we are ready to take on the next stage of our academic life high school all this is possible because of everyone here and all who are lovingly taking care of all of us so thank you i'm also taking the opportunity to thank the special people who have made my achievement possible i might not be able to mention all of you by name but know that I am a million fold times grateful to everyone who has put me on this stage today. To my advisor, Teacher Marilyn, I 
am so grateful of your guidance, advices that inspires me to go on and giving your best to us. Thank you to all San Pedro Elementary teachers for sharing stories and mem- memories with me. To my best friends, Kyle, Joseph, and Maki, thank you very much. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for having my back all the time. You guys made me feel that I have a big, wonderful family. A great thank you from my heart, to my parents and siblings, to my mama for giving unconditional love, care and time. I am greatly honored to stand before all of you today as the chosen one, receiving an award with honor. Some people think that getting the award is too far beyond their dreams. There were times that I encountered hardship in my studies, especially financial matters. It came into my mind. Just give up. This mindset of quitting just adds to the obstacle on achieving goals. There is one thing that I learned in life. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. I've noticed that when I'm in a tight situation, I almost never notice that there's that open door just there in the corner. I don't really realize that I can do something that I can still achieve. The only time that I have ever realized this is when I want to reach my goal. A thoughtful friend once told me, never know how far you've gotten when you give up. Second off, it isn't just achieved with talent. It is in the mind, heart, and soul. Talent is useless without a strong mind and the passion to achieve. Your goals might be far when you look at it now. But the first step of trying is one step closer to your goal. There is no such thing as a small act. Every act creates a ripple with no end. Hardship and struggle, take it as challenge and stick to your dreams to achieve success. Especially nowadays that we are suffering from this global pandemic that made our lives difficult. Fear. It can be wisdom or it can be an obstacle. I say, march through the years with courage driven by your passions. Each one of us here is born with a potential, the spark waiting to be ignited to achieve. It will be a confusing and bumpy road, but trudge on. Every great hero starts with a small part. part. Achievements do not have to be grandeur, but what matters is that you're fighting for something with fighting for. No matter how small the difference you're making, way one stop closer to success. Be queer, be quirky, be ad. Don't let anyone ruin your dream. Remember that even if it is hard to see in the midst of the chaos and confusion, the only thing stopping you is yourself. The action you take today will secure your tomorrow and have its consequences. My fellow graduate, go for it. Let me share with you this. 
once Michelle Obama said, Don't be afraid. Be focused. Be determined. Be hopeful. Be empowered. Thank you. Have a wonderful morning and congratulations. graduates present today in this momentous event. I commend you for the hard work you put in reaching what you have achieved today. As graduates, do not think that learning will stop here. Treat this graduation day as a gateway to a higher level of learning. As young learners, a new task is at hand to better understand your craft, master it, and possibly achieve great things in doing so. At the same time, you will need to learn how to face real-life hardships in your jobs and social life. Understand that one day you will have the power to make a difference to use it well. As what Alexandra Ocasio Cortez said, change takes courage. There would always be trouble along the way. But with all that has been said, do not see tomorrow with dim light for what lies beyond this day could be the highlight of your lives, the well-deserved fruit of all your labor. And finally, I would like to congratulate your parents for a job well done in raising such successful students. Good day, God bless, and Godspeed. Congratulations.